is the Toronto real estate market dropping? Our price is coming down for Toronto condos and Toronto homes. Let's look at Toronto real estate and see if the prices are dropping. EOC Kaplan friends, Toronto real estate agent with search realty. Today I'm gonna jump right in and look to see if the Toronto condo market and housing market is dropping. So follow me to condos.ca. By the way, Yossi Kaplan on YouTube. Here's the channel, 400 subscribers. Thank you very much, everyone. The condo calculator, you can download the free sheet that tell you if your condo breaks even. We'll get to a few more things, but I wanna go right here. Uh, Condos.ca is a great tool. It's not perfect. It's sometimes kinda of off, but we'll use it. And you can see the sales index for Toronto condos at the moment, it calculates $808 per square foot. That's the average. This thing is based on dollar per square foot. That's obviously based on what people report. It's not perfect, but it's it's close enough. And you may have to click a link, uh, a little button here, and uh, make sure you signed in if you're not. And then you're gonna see this chart that will tell you the prices of condo, which is the green line, and the volume, how many sold each month in the years that the system that condo.ca uh, maintains this list, which is goes back to August 2015. Okay. So this is 2020, we started with a boom. Okay, so the average here, we got 875, 875, now we're at 808. So we are, what is it, 68, $67 less. So we're quite a bit less, maybe 8% or so less than what we're here. And the current average that condos.ca calculates based on 62 sales is $737 a foot. Now that's a very small amount of sales, that's a very small sample. Uh, the usual sample is about 1,500, sometimes more. Uh, even here we only had 555 in April, but that's, that's good. So you can see what happened. Um, we reached kind of new heights in January, February, even though they're supposed to be quiet, not that great months. They actually broke all record and the volume was, was above 15 and just under. So average of 1500 per month, which is great. You can see 2019 was even busier. 2018 was busier. 2016 was busier. 2015 was busier. 2000, the maximum we've seen here is 2335, 2, 2335 sales for one month. That was in uh, June 2016, okay? Um, Last June, we got 1560. Still not bad considering it's Toronto. The price uh, was calculated 819, and we're looking at 808 a foot, so we are down $11 a foot. Okay, we're down $11 a foot, so that's percent point two, one point something percent. Uh, now, of course, the big question what's going to happen in July and August? Now, July and August are summer months, so they're supposed to be <clears throat> a little slower if you look at July and August of other years. Where am I? Uh, that's July. That's August. So you can see they're 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 way less than March, which is the or April, which is the busiest kind of March, April, May, June is still good, and then July, August always drop down by quite a bit, by quite a bit. Okay, um, so we'll have. Now the thing is, no one's leaving the country right now, and probably not too many live in the province, so more people are in town. Uh, cottage country is obviously very, very busy. The 4, 400, the uh, Highway 11, 27, they're all very, very busy these days because people are going to cottage because they can't really go anywhere else. Or maybe soon. Um, but what you can see here, the, there's this drop, it's hard to tell. Now, if we're going to see uh, prices coming down below the 800 mark, sure, I think we're going to start seeing uh, a real drop. Now, this is an average of the GTA. Just to show you something, I'll go to uh, yossikaplan.com here, that's my own site, okay, and then scroll down below all these areas, you come here, so I'm passing the video, I'm passing the registration, if you want to get some information, register here, you get it on the mailing list, it gives you a lot of tips, tricks, <clears throat> links to how to find assignments, reduce property, stuff like that, recent blog posts, or you can just jump in per neighborhood. Uh, this, is a, this is interesting, so I pre-programmed, you can look by price, by bedroom, by feature, by type. So if I want to see all the townhomes available in the system, I just hit the townhome, and it's going to do some uh, digital hocus focus magic. And now you go, and it basically throws you in Toronto and shows you what you requested for. And you can sort it by latest listing, 
which is what it's the default, low to high, bathroom, so on and so forth. You can get a, a really good information, kind of what's coming into the market and what is it looking like, okay? Now, obviously, what's coming to the market is not what's sold, but usually what comes to the market sell for more or less what it's on the market for. Of course, if it didn't sell, it'd usually be removed from the market, removed completely, and then put down a lower price. That's why a lot of properties showing that they sold close to asking because the, the price might have been reduced prior, prior. But once you start looking closely, you'll see the price are more or less similar to what we've seen, especially in the resale, okay, especially in the resale. Uh, there may be a bit of softening here, but for now, uh, when you look at the, I lost. When you look at the at the actual uh, neighborhoods, like if we look at the King West, for example, so it loads up, it loads up, and we can see, eight hundred twenty-seven. So that's about a thousand a foot. That's well over. Th so that's uh, seventy-five Portland. Okay, that's Fashion House in the Adelaide building. That's just over uh, almost 600 square feet for 680, so that's 1,100 some a foot. Uh, 60 Niagara, larger unit, just on 1,000 a foot. Uh, these, are hard. these are hard because the large units, you know, they may not necessarily be like on, on the trade like the rest. Uh, but get normal units like 700, like just under 800 square feet on the 8th floor, over 800 with the parking, asking of course. Uh, this is asking just under. Just under a thousand a foot, okay. So we, just over a thousand a foot here. When you look at the market stats, you got to be logged in a thousand thirty-seven a foot. So that would be the average of King West as Condos.ca calculates it. Now it probably calculates eight hundred eighty-three sales. I'm not sure how long back this goes, but obviously things have changed dramatically in the last three or four months. So if these 883 recent sales go back deep into 2019, we may not get the actual recent average we want to see. I'd like to know how long this has been calculated over. should give me a number of days or months or when this from. That will be really helpful. Uh, nonetheless, the values went up by 7%. The value is about 1037 a foot. This is the rent about four bucket foot so that was just over i think i think we saw four or five when i looked at it a couple weeks ago but it's still holding steady um and of course you can go you can look at what sold and that'll give you a real good indication of what sold and you can see here the price per foot it's still coming up now we'll see what's going to happen when um the numbers are updated um you know, we only seen like the new, the new, new, new starting in April, and it, it's very wonky right now because people don't know what's going on. The moment we get some stability, we understand what kind of situation we're dealing with. We can probably have better business, better back to life and back to business, and hopefully stability in the market. But for now, it's it's actually quite stable. Uh, these are the rents. You can see the rents went down. So here, calculate 382. So again, it means you. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what's the formula here, but obviously the, those all these formulas they show you, they're not exactly the same or not based on the same samples. Regardless, it's around the four bucket foot, 380 a foot. Obviously, a high floor unit with better view will get more per dollar per foot, whether you buy it or rent it, or uh, on the other end, sell it or lease it. And of course, a unit with on a low floor with no sunshine will get less. That's just natural. But that gives you a good idea what's going on. If you want to check, for example, um, other neighborhood, let's see, just the downtown to get an idea of what condos.ca shows me. And it's a much larger sample, 5,131 recent sales. So the price are up almost 8%, 1041. So more or less same price as King West and probably caught up a bit more because it's possible that King West has had slightly higher dollar per foot because there's less units here. Okay, and, and because there's more units, you can see there's a bit more competition. So you got a few cents, maybe four or five cents average. It's really negligible. It's one or two percent. It's based on 13, almost 14,000 rentals. So we'll see, we'll see how, and here's the graph. Okay, it's very similar. Um, and here it's very similar. So they're more or less following the same. So for now, it's quite stable. The next couple months, we'll know really, really, really well. Uh, people are calling. People are buying. We see multiple, multiple 
uh, bids on mostly on houses. Okay, uh, assignments are going for very good price. If you want the reduced, I'll give it to you. If you want a free console, just come on the phone and talk to me. We'll book it and we'll do it. It's all good. For now, the market is good. I have people buying assignments. I have people selling assignments. Everything is really happening. Uh, another tool I have for you is Toronto Condos for Sale. Condos for Sale.com. So you can also use this tool here, uh, and that is my site, and it shows you the resale and the new construction. So just hit that button, Projects in Toronto, and it'll take you to <clears throat> some new construction, and you can sort it with various ways. 28 Eastern is out now. Rain Condos is out now. Raina Condo is coming out. There's a lot of good stuff coming out here. The price for the new condos that I'm seeing coming out is about the 1300 a foot. If you want to go another place, a little farther out of the most requested areas, you'll find larger units, over a thousand square feet, for 850 a foot, and you'll find small units for just about the thousand dollar a foot mark. If they're small units, even though they're not necessarily in in the core, they're all a thousand and more right now. Um, the developer the developer prices, but I've seen some really good prices at Galleria recently. Okay. Uh, that's really, Galleria is really good on the park. Um, I've, I have the list. If you want to see what's going on in Galleria, let me know and I'll show you. Uh, Galleria 1 and 2 are available. Okay, uh, I have the exact price list for what it's now. I think it's a phenomenal project. I've spoken about it a lot. Other than that, we're looking at a quite stable market. Download the condo calculator to see what's your break-even point. Uh, Stable for now, and uh, stay tuned. I'll keep reporting as more information comes in. The Treb Market Watch will be coming in next couple of days. We'll see how they do, what their stats are. And beyond that, once July is finished, I'll be very, very curious to see. And of course, once September, October starts, we'll probably know exactly what the situation is. And hopefully, we're on the way up. Uh, but nonetheless, good market, multiple bids on resale. The very, very few projects coming out are selling very, very well. The new construction, uh, r there's, there's more rents, rental units on the market, but a lot, the good ones still get near full price, which was very, very high. Uh, so everyone's doing well. Thank you very much. Yossi Kaplan, give me a shout with anything you want to find out about Toronto real estate, buying, selling, whatever.